Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Status Pro baseball fans. It's Bob Zolke, Sportsman Z. And I'm here today with another Status Pro game. Today it's going to be the 1970 Chicago White Sox visiting the 1978 Toronto Blue Jays. Now, in 1970, the White Sox won 56 games, and in 1978, the Toronto Blue Jays, I believe, um, won like 59 games. So, these teams are evenly matched. Today, I'll be playing with my house rules. I'm going to be using two eight-sided die at certain times for the uh, readings on the card, and I'm going to be using... Two six-siders to determine control of the, um, which, you know, whether the batter or the pitcher is in control. Now, I've made, I've kind of made up my own rules. I've got, I've taken a lot of input. I, in fact, I will connect to the video where I um, tell everyone uh, that I have a new twist on playing um, Status Pro Baseball, and that will be in the uh, end screen. But if you want to watch it again... Uh, and I did get a lot of good comments, and so based on those comments, I have decided to make my own variation of the rules. Some of these are kind of uh, reminiscent of um, advanced rules, advanced status pro. So uh, what we're basically going to do is on the two D6s, um, a roll of 2 to 10 is going to be read off the pitcher card as normal. Now, I know that there are um, pitcher controls that are that go to 12, I think. Um, but we are just going to ignore those, and we're going to say that it's out of the pitcher's control, even if you had a 2 to 12, but we don't have a 2 to 12 in this game. And it's rare to see a pitcher who's in control 2 to 12. Um, so... Um, or, or I think the cards. I think the cards go up to 12. So anyway, you're, you're rarely going to see a pitcher who's in control 2 to 12. Um, so what we're going to do is the two six-siders, um, uh, 2 through 10, will, be, uh, will determine whether the pitcher or the batter is in control. 11 will be a clutch defense, and uh, a 12 will be a, uh, a BD. Um, I think that's like clutch hitting or something, whatever it is. Um, and th that'll be a 12. Um, and then when I roll the two D8s, uh, a roll of 10, because you, you know the cards go from 11 to 88. But on two D8s, you can get a 10 roll. So if I get a 10 roll, that's going to be a Z rating. And then 11 to 88 will just be the normal reading off the card. Um, and that's how we're going to do it. So, uh, we will get on with the game. So, you've got the uh, 70 Sox are up first with Luis Aparicio batting against Tom Underwood. The pitchers today, Tom Underwood for the Blue Jays and Tommy John for the White Sox. And the roll is a seven, and Tommy John is a, or um, Underwood is a two to six. So Aparicio is in control, and he rolled a uh, 13. The red will be the uh, first reading, and the blue will be the second reading, although I know you can't see my dice tower, or probably can't. Let me see, can you? Well, there you go. I guess you can. So anyway, uh, that was a reading of 13, and that will be a single for Aparicio. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and uh, there's no reason, and see the reason I'm doing this is because there's no reason then to pick the um, fast action card deck, pick from the fast action card deck, unless there are outs to see what kind of outs there are and whether there are errors. But see, we didn't have to pick a card for that um, resolution. Next guy up is Walt Williams. That is a 7, so Walt Williams is in charge. And that is a 58, which is going to be an out. 
and we will pick now we will pick the card and out sequence all go G3 which is a ground out to the um, first baseman and uh, so let's see G3 star let me see what that is Okay, uh, there was a force out at second and the batter was safe at first, so they have the same situation, only there is an out. And that brings up Gail Hopkins. And that is a nine, so the, uh, the batter is in charge, Gail Hopkins is in charge, and that is a 64, which is going to be and out and we will roll to see or we'll pick the card to see what the out is all go g5 with a star and so let's see that is double play grounder and that will be the end of the inning so no runs come in for the white Sox in the first inning and see how easy that was easy so now we're going to go to the uh, blue jays batting against uh, Tommy John The roll is a nine so that's on Bob Baylor's card and it is a 54 reading and that is going to be an out we will pick to see what the out is um, Bob Baylor is an RN so that is a uh, line out to the first baseman one down Dave McKay is up and that is, oh yeah, let's see, forgot to keep track here. Dave McKay is up, and um, we roll the dice, and that is a six. So Tommy John is in charge, and it is a reading of 23 and 23 is a first base so it's a single to the um a, it's a single to right field john mayberry is up that's the first hit of the game for either team and that is an eight or no it's a second hit apparicio did have a hit in the first inning um, let's, let's see, that is an eight, so it is going to be on the batter's card, John Mayberry, and that is a 28, which is a home run. John Mayberry goes deep and hits a home two-run homer. That is going to be a 10, and that is on the batter's card. And um, it is a reading of 37, and 37 is a strikeout. So Willie Horton strikes out, and that's two down. And the next batter up is Roy Howell. And that is a seven, so Tommy John is in charge, and that is a 47 which is a um an out and we will see what the out is howl is an ln and so that is a fly out to eight fly out to center field he is out and the blue jays are out of the inning however they do strike for two runs in the bottom of the first and we go to the top of the second with belton Bill Melton up at the plate for the White Sox. And that's going to be a three, so it's easily on Underwood's card. And it is a 43, which is a walk. Yeah. 
So Belton Bill Melton works a walk here in the second. And that brings up Ed Herman. And Ed Herman today is the DH. That is a nine, so it'll be on the um, it'll be on um, Herman's card, and it is a thirty-four, which is a home run by Ed Herman, and that is a tie game, folks. That's what you got right there. And it is two to two with Dwayne Josephson up for the White Sox. That is a six, and uh, that will be on um, Underwood's card. And it is a 62, which is an out. And we will pick to see what the out is. He's an RN. RN is G4A with a possible error. And I forgot to check for the error the last time. Um... And their air is none, so that's two down. Josephson is out. And uh, that's the first, actually, that's the first out. Carlos May is up. Carlos May up. He It's on the pitcher's card, and it is a 17. And 17 is going to be a base hit for sure. That is a single to center field. So Carlos May ripping a hit. And Ken Berry is up the center fielder. Six is on Underwood's card. And he gets a um, 55, which is going to be a wild pitch. I um, think we need to check and see if there is, yeah, if there is really a wild pitch, and there actually isn't. It was just a possible wild pitch, and so we will, um, I guess we'll roll again. And that's a 12, so the 12 is on two D6s, that's a, uh, uh, a BD. So we'll find out what that is. All right, we'll roll the two eight-sided or the two eight-sided dice, and that is a forty-five, which falls outside of the uh, of him getting a chance of getting a hit because the BDs are on his card in this particular case on uh, Ken Berry's card. So and he is an RN, so that is a G4A. And then we will find out what G4A is. Ground ball, and the runner is out, and the White Sox are out of the inning. So that was a double play. With a chance for something better, but didn't happen. But the White Sox do get two in the second, and we go to the bottom of the Second with Otto Velez up for Otto Velez, a big hitter for the uh, Blue Jays. That is going to be on Tommy John's card, and it is a 57, which is an out. And Otto Velez is an RP, and all go G5 um, star, which we will check for an error. And there is no error, so it's an out. Otto Velez is out. That brings up Tommy Hutton. I gotta say, I like this method of playing. Um, nine, this is going to be on the batter's card, Tommy Hutton's card. It's a 55, and he is out. He's an LN. We look at LN, all go F7, so he's gonna fly out to left. And that brings up Luis Gomez. With two down. And he gets a six, which is on Tommy John's card in control, and it is a 37, which is a walk. So Luis Gomez draws the walk, and he is aboard with Alan Ashby up. Oh, and I got to, you know what? I, have, I forgot to update these um, as far as subtracting them. So 
he just allowed a walk and he is also allowed um, a hit, another hit, and, a, and two runs. So Tommy John's down to 10. Underwood has allowed, um, let's see, a walk. Um, a home run, a single, and then two runs. So he's down to 11. And uh, Alan Ashby is up now. And we have, what do we have here? Two outs? Yeah, two outs with Alan Ashby up. Alan Ashby, the catcher, gets a nine. That's going to be on his card. He is in control, and it's a 52 which is going to be an out, and he is an SP, and that is going to be a G5 with a possible error. And uh, there is no error. So he grounds out, and he's out, and that is it for the Blue Jays. And they will be back at the top of the order when they come back up to the plate in the third inning, but they scored nothing in the second, and now we move on to the third inning with Bobby Knopp up for the... White Sox. That's a six, and it falls within Underwood's card, and it's a 22, which is going to be a base hit. It would uh, seem, and it is, it's a single to right field for Bobby Knopp. He gets a hit, and Luis Aparicio, we're back at the top of the order. We are using the DH because we are playing in Toronto, and... Uh, I believe they did have the DH by then. Three, it's going to be a 36, a 36 on Underwood's card. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. 36 on Underwood's card is going to be a strikeout. So there is one down. Aparicio with the K. That brings up Walt Williams. Walt Williams, it's on Underwood's card. It is an 85, which is going to be an out, and he is an RN. And uh, RN, it says, all go G6 with a possible error, and the error is none. So um, I believe that, is that the, the, that's the second out. Oh, wait a minute. We have to see if there was an error. Or, I mean, we have to see if there was a double play. Grounder, shortstop, the second. Okay, so it is a double play, and the White Sox are out of the inning. And no runs come in for the White Sox. In the third, we go to the bottom of the third. With Bob Baylor up. Again, back to the top of the order for the Jays. That is a 10, and it's going to be on the batter's card, Bob Baylor's, and he is, that is a 46, and a 46 is an out, he's an RN. We look at the RN, and it says, all go G1 with a possible error, and error says none. So, Baylor is out. And I know, I also want to point out that I, I do realize that somebody pointed out that the cards, getting the readings off the cards is probably more accurate because the cards, the card deck and the player cards are all skewed and uh, developed in such a way that the, um, that a, uh, that they perform more realistically rather than just complete randomness. But for a one-off, I'm you know I'm happy with just doing it with complete randomness. So Dave McKay is up. That is going to be a 12. So 12 on that at the BD. That is a 27, 0, 27. Home run to deep center field, and McKay has gone deep. Do you believe that? That is crazy. All right, so it's a home run for Dave McKay off Tommy John. That brings up Tom, um, John Mayberry. That is a nine, so it's going to be on Mayberry's card, and it is an 
81, and 81 is an out, and he is an LP. LP, all go G3A with the star, so we check for the error, and um, error 9 to 10. So I don't think there was an error on that. So it's an out, Mayberry is out for the second out and that brings Willie Horton to the plate. And that is a nine so it's going to be on Willie Horton's card and it is a, a uh, um, 62 and that is going to be an out and we will see he's an RN we pick for the out and it all all go G3A we check for the error and error is 8 to 10. First baseman we set is a 3, so that is not an error, and it is an, actually an out. And the Blue Jays come away with, oh, they got, I forgot their run on the McKay home run. So they do get a run, and they are now leading 3 to 2 as we go to the top of the fourth inning with the White Sox coming to the plate. And uh, Tommy John also is going to get a deduction for that home run and the run that he allowed. And I believe we missed uh, um, a deduction on um, Underwood's card last inning for the single that he allowed to um, Bobby Knopp. So, uh, oh, I hope that's right. But anyway, if it is, I'm, even if it isn't, I'm only deducting him one because there was only one hit for the White Sox last inning anyway. So we go to the top of the fourth, and Gail Hopkins is the batter for the White Sox. That is a nine, so it's going to be on Hopkins' card, and it's a 64, which is an out, and he's an LN. LN is a line out to the first baseman, so he's out. Hopkins is out. Belton Bill Melton is up next. And that's a 9. It's going to be on Melton's card. It's a 55, though. And that's going to be a hit by pitch. So Melton is hit by a pitch. That deducts Underwood one more. And he is aboard. And gives way to Ed Herman, who has a home run this game for the White Sox. A two-run home run. That is a six, so it is going to be um, Tom Underwood in charge. And it's a 77, which is going to be an out. And uh, Melton, or Herman is an LP. LP is an F3 with a possible error. So follow out to the first baseman. There is no error, so Ed Herman is out. And we have two down with Melton at first base and Dwayne Josephson out. And he gets a seven, which is going to be, um, he, uh, Josephson is in charge, and it's a 64, which is an out, and he's an RN. We pick for the uh, out. I'll go G4 with a possible error. And uh, error says none. So he was, Josephson was out, and so are the White Sox. They're out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. See, we're moving right along here. Loving this version of the game better. <laughs> Loving my Bob Zolke Sportsman Z version of the game a lot better. Roy Howell is at the plate. That is a 10, so Howell's in charge, and it is a 25. 25 going to be something, and in fact, it is a single to right field. So Howell gets a single, and that also will deduct Tommy John another one. And Tommy John is getting gassed. He's, they're wearing him down with Otto Velez up at the plate. That is a seven, and uh, Tommy John is in charge. And it is an 18, which is not good. That's going to be a single to center field, and that deducts him another one. And now you got two guys on, and you got Tommy Hutton up at the plate. That is a seven, so Tommy John's still in charge, at least for the moment. And that is going to be a 43. And a 43 is 
uh, pass ball. So um, that is going to be runners move up to second and third. And I think we're going to uh, just do it again then, since all we determined there was that it was a pass ball. And that's a four, Tommy John in charge, and it is a 48. 48 is a possible, no, 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 it's an out, it's an out, and uh, he is an LN. I'll go G4 with a possible error, and there is no error, so uh, G4. The infield was not in, so we're going to have to check and see what happened on that. Okay, that was a ground out with the runners holding, so that is, that's one out. And Luis Gomez is up. The run did not score. That is an 11, uh, and 11 on the 2D6s is a CD. Yeah, he's a 2, so... Two and an 18 is um, line out to the fielder, lead runner, doubled off second base, and that's a double play. So the uh, White Sox are out of the inning. Luckily with Luis Gomez hitting into a double play. And no runs come in for the Blue Jays in the fourth. Dwayne Josephson up in the top of the fifth. And let's see. Did he give up another? He gave up. I don't know if I deducted the two for him. I think I, I, think I deducted one of them. So we'll put him down to five. But now the White Sox are facing Underwood again. That is a 10, so it's going to be on Dwayne Josephson's card, and it's a 33, which is a single to right field. So Josephson gets a hit to lead off the, uh, or wait a minute, no, this was Carlos, it was supposed to be Carlos May. Um, and that was a 33. That is a triple. That's a triple to center field. And uh, the, the Blue Jays are going to bring the infield in. Lead off triple for Carlos May, and Ken Barry is up at the plate. That is a 10. It's on Barry's card, and it is a 12, which is, or uh, a 21, which is probably going to be a base hit. And that is a single. Eight. So that does drive in the tying run. Ken Berry with the hit and the run scored. Bobby Knopp is up. That is a three. And uh, so that means that Underwood is in charge and he did give up uh, another, he gave up two hits and another and a run. So that's he's down to that um, and it's on his card with a 31 and the 31 is a strikeout so Bobby Cannot strikes out and that is the first out of the inning for the White Sox Luis Aparicio is up that is a seven it's gonna be on Luis Aparicio's card and it is a 32 and 32 is going to be a single to right field with only one out here. So the White Sox have something going and Walt Williams stepping in and uh, ready to face Underwood. And Underwood we have to deduct another one. But that is a 7 so it's, it's outside of Underwood's influence and it is a 54, which is an out, and he's an RN. RN is all go F9. So that's two down, and we have to remember that we needed to deduct him one. Um, and then that brings up Gail Hopkins. And Gail Hopkins, that's an 11. It was an 11. Um, it's a CD. 
and uh, we we will pick to see who, who the defensive player is. It, he's an LN, so it's F9, and that is the right fielder. Um, CD is no action occurs return to normal play so we're going to do it again and that is a seven and that is going to be on gail hopkins's card and it is a 15 and that's going to be a single to left field and the bases are loaded and that also subtracts another one off of his. And we got Belton Bill Melton with the bases loaded. Beautiful time for him to come up and, and be the batter with uh, two down. And that is a six, so it's within his influence. And it's a 38, though. And 38 on his card is a strikeout. So Belton Bill Melton strikes out with the bases loaded, and um, they did get one in the fifth. So we go to the bottom of the fifth in a 3-3 game. And you can see the beauty of this um, method because now uh, we're halfway through the game and we're only we're not um, even halfway through the deck. So that's what I like. I don't have to reshuffle the deck. Although I know I do realize. Um, if you were playing it normally, using the cards more, you would reshuffle the deck every three innings. And that's supposed to bring more realism, but I like it like this. You know, no need to reshuffle the deck. And um, the batter is Alan Ashby. And he's up in the bottom of the fifth. In a tie game, 3-3. Three, three. That's a 9. That is a 37 and uh, 37 on his card, and that's going to be a strikeout. One away. Ashby strikes out to be the first out for the Blue Jays. Bob Baylor is up. That's well, a good game, but it's two bad teams. So, uh, nine, it's going to be on Baylor's card. That's a 25, and a 25 falls in the range of a single to left field, or right field. So, single for Baylor, he is aboard, Dave McKay is up. Dave McKay, of course, with a home run this game, and that is a 12, and that's going to be a uh, BD, and that is a roll of 16, and don't tell me that that's another home run. It is a, actually, it's a double to right center field. All runners score. So um, McKay drives in another run, yet another run with a double. And the Blue Jays take another lead in this game by the score of 4-3 to three with John Mayberry up. And that's a 3, so that's on Mayberry's card, and it is a... Um, or it's on uh, it's on Underwood's card, and actually that's another hit and a, another two hits and a home run which uh, brings in or no a double a double which brings in another run. So Tommy John is almost gassed here. Uh, for the moment, it's still on his card though, and it is a 31, and 31 is a strikeout. So that's two down. Mayberry striking out at a key moment with a man at second base. And Willie Horton is up. And that's a seven. That's going to be on Tommy John's card for the moment. And it's a 66, which is an out. And Horton is an RN. We pick to see what that is. And it's all go G5 with a possible error. And error is none. So Willie Horton is out. But the Blue Jays got another run in the bottom of the fifth, and they take a 4-3 to three lead as we go to the top of the sixth inning.
and the White Sox are still batting against Underwood. Both of these pitchers are probably near the end of the rope, though. Um, yes, Ed Herman is up. That is the three. It's going to be on um, Underwood's card, and it's a 25 reading, which is um, a strikeout. One away, Herman strikes out. Dwayne Josephson is up. That is an eight, so that's going to be on Josephson's card, and it is a 61. And 61 will be an out. He's an RN. RN is all go F8. No error. That's two down, and Carlos May at the plate. And that's a 10. That's going to be on Carlos May's card, and it's a 55, which is going to be a walk. Actually, I thought he might be out, but he, he's not. And that deducts another one off of Underwood's reading. And brings up Ken Berry, the center field. And that's a four. It's going to be on Underwood's card, but is an 85, which will certainly be an out. And he is an RN. And RN is a G4A with a possible error. And there is no error. So he is, Ken Berry was out. No runs come in in the sixth for the White Sox. And we go to the bottom of the sixth with the Blue Jays up and bringing up Roy Howell. And the White Sox are going to make a pitching change, actually. Barry Moore. So Barry Moore is the new pitcher. And John, Tommy John, only went five. And Moore comes in in the sixth inning with Roy Howell up. And that's a 12, so that's going to be, a, it won't be a BD, so um, we will just, that's going, we're just going to read that as, because there's nobody on base, we're going to read it as um, being on the batter's card. And it is a 43, and a 43 is a strikeout. So Howell strikes out here in the sixth. Otto Velez is up. That is a 10, and it's going to be um, on Otto Velez's card, and it is a 28 reading. And a 28 is a home run. Otto Velez goes deep, and they got another run. And that's going to be, he came in as a 10, um, and that's going to deduct two, one for the homer, one for the, uh, one for the run that it was associated with it. And uh, that brings Tommy Hutton up. And he gets a five, which is within Barry Moore's uh, control. And it's a 24, though, and that's a single to center field. So he's getting hit up pretty good here. Hutton with the single, and Luis Gomez is up. And that's a six with a uh, 14. So the six, he is going to, it's going to be on Luis Gomez's card. And, or in the 40, it's a 41, and the 41 will be an out, and he is an RN. RN is all go G3A um, with a possible error. Let's see first if there's an error, and then we can just deal with that. Um, error 10. There is no error. So we'll look at the G3A. Um, a double play. So Luis Gomez hits into a DP. And the um, Blue Jays are out of the inning. And they do get a run, though. They got another. They got a home run. Another um, home run in the sixth. So we go to the top of the seventh with the seventy White Sox losing to the seventy-eight Blue Jays by the score of five to three. 
And Bobby Knopp is up batting against Underwood, except it isn't going to be Underwood. They're going to bring in a new reliever. He's bringing in Joe Coleman. Joe Coleman is the new pitcher for the of Blue Jays. And Bobby Knopp is batting against him. That is a 10, so it's going to be on Knopp's card, and it's a 43, which is a strikeout. So, Bobby Knopp strikes out in the seventh. We go to Luis Aparicio. And that's going to be an eight, which is on Aparicio's card, and it's a 26, which is going to be a single to left field, or a right field. So he gets a base hit. Walt Williams is up. And Coleman came in as an RR9, so that reduces him to an 8 with the single allowed. That is a 4, and it's going to be a 32. So it's on Coleman's card, and it is a 32, right? Yes, it is a 32. And 32 on his card is going to be a strikeout. So Walt Williams strikes out for the second out in the seventh inning, and Gail Hopkins is out. And that is a an eight, so it's going to be on Hopkins' card, and it is a 41, and 41 is going to be a walk for Gail Hopkins. So the White Sox have a little something going here. They've got two men on, but they have two down with Belton Bill Melton coming to the plate. That also reduces him another one. And that is going to be a 10, and it is a 48. So it's going to be on Melton's card, and it's a 48 on Melton's card. And that's a walk. So Melton draws a walk and loads the bases. And that also knocks Coleman down another one. And Ed Herman is up in a very clutch situation here with the bases loaded and two away. That is a 4. It's going to be on Coleman's card, and it is a 17. That's going to be a base hit. You know that. It's a single to center field, and uh, they the White Sox get a run and bring in one of those runs, and it's 5-4 now, and it, the Blue Jays are still going to play. Well, it's two outs, so they would play the infield back, but Dwayne Josephson is up. That is a 7. It's going to be on Josephson card, and it is an 18. That's going to be a base hit, I believe, and it is a single to center field. They get another run, and the White Sox have tied the game at 5. And let's see if Carlos May can keep the, uh, you know, can put another quarter in the uh, merry-go-round. And that is an 8. It's going to be on the... Um, batter's card, but it's a 44, and a 44 is a strikeout. So Carlos May strikes out in an absolutely key situation, but the White Sox come up with the two tying runs, and it is now 5-5 going to the bottom of the seventh inning. With Alan Ashby up, and Barry Moore still out there for the White Sox, and that is a 7, so it's going to be on Alan Ashby's card. And it is an 87, which is definitely an out. He is an SP. We check that. SP says ground out 3. We check for the error. And we check for the error. And there is none. So Alan Ashby is out here in the 7th as the first out for the Blue Jays. And Bob Baylor is up. You remember, of course, Alan Ashby playing with the... Um, the uh, Astros of the 80s. Bob Baylor up. That's a two. And uh, that is um, going to be on Barry Moore's card. And it is a 12. And that's going to be a single. So um, Bob Baylor gets Barry Moore a single. Gets a single off of him. And that's going to reduce him another one. Dave McKay is up at the plate for the Blue Jays with one on and one out, I believe. There was one on. Yes. And that's going to be a 7, and it is a 35. So the 7, it's on the um, batter's card McKay, and it is 35, which is a strikeout. 
He just missed hitting his second home run, by the way. But it is a K, and that's two down. And then that brings up John Mayberry. And John Mayberry gets an 11, which is uh, definitely, well, no, it's going to be a CD, is Hopkins, and he is a 2, clutch defense 2, and a roll of uh, 83 is no action, return to normal play. So we're just going to do it, I guess we're going to do it again, because no action occurred. So that's an 8. That's going to be on Mayberry's card. And it is a 35. And 35 is a walk. Mayberry drawing a walk. And that takes one off of Baylor Moore or Barry Moore's card. Or his rating. And then Willie Horton is stepping into the plate. And it's going to be on Barry Moore's card, and it is a 17. That's going to be a base hit to left field. Runners will hold, and Willie Horton gets a single. And that also reduces another one off of Barry Moore's card. He's getting really racked up here, and Roy Howell is at the plate. That is a 10. It's going to be on Roy Howell's card, and it is a, an 87, which is definitely an out. And LN says F2, so that is going to be a foul out to the catcher, no error, and the threat is um, squashed there as Howell gets out. Yes, and so we will go to the top of the eighth. The White Sox and the 70, the 70 White Sox and the 78 Blue Jays in a 5-5 tie with Ken Berry up here against Joe Coleman. Joe Coleman gets a, it's a roll of a 9, so it's on um, Berry's card, but it's a 58. And 58 is going to be an out, and he's an RN. RN says L5, so it's a line out to the third baseman. And Barry's out with Bobby Knopp up. That is going to be a 10. And so it's on the batter's card. And it is a 75. And that's going to be an out. And he's an RN. And RN, it says all go G5 with a possible error. And there is no error. So that's two down. And up steps Aparicio, Luis Aparicio, for the White Sox. And that is going to be a 5, and uh, that is on Joe Coleman's card, and it is a 64, which is an out. And he is an RN, and that says, I'll go G3 with a possible error, and the error is none. So Aparicio was out. And the White Sox get none in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. With Otto Velez up for the Blue Jays. That's a six. So it's on Velez's card. And it is an 11, which is going to be a, a base hit. Otto Velez with a single here in the eighth inning. And that also reduces Barry Moore one more. And Tommy Hutton's up. Tommy Hutton gets a 6, which is going to be on Tommy Hutton's card, but it's a 77. And he's an LN, so he, he is an out. And that's an F9 with no error, so he's out. One down with one on. And Luis Gomez up at the plate for the Blue Jays in a 5-5 five, five game. And that is a 7, so it's going to be on Luis Gomez's card. And it is a 24, which should be a base hit, and it is a single to right field. So that's another hit, and Barry Moore is almost out of gas here, um, with Alan Ashby up at the plate. Whoa, and let's roll that. That's a two, so it's going to be with Barry Moore in control, and it is a 36. 
And a 36 is a strikeout, so Ashby goes down on strikes. And there's two down with Bob Baylor up. Back at the top of the lineup with two on and two out. And that is an eight, so it's on Baylor's card. But it's a 54, which is going to be an out. And he is an RN, and an RN is an F6 with no error, so he's out. And we're going to the top of the ninth. Here it is. It's 5-5 going to the top of the ninth with the 70 White Sox up. The Blue Jays are going to make a pitching change right now. Jefferson. So, um, Coleman um, pitched eight, pitched through the eighth. So, he pitched two, and that's going to be Jefferson up, uh, um, on the mound. And he's going to face Walt Williams. And he Je uh, Jefferson is an RR10, so we'll move it back to 10. Walt Williams taking his hat. And that is going to be a 4, which is probably on Jefferson's card. And it is, and it's an 88, which is an out. And he is an RN. And RN, it says all go G3 with a possible error, and there is no error. So Walt Williams is out to lead off the ninth inning with Gail Hopkins up. Gail Hopkins gets a 10, and that's an uh, uh, 85, which is probably going to be an out, and he is an LN. And LN says F1 with a possible error by the pitcher. But there isn't, and there's two down. Really quickly, the White Sox have the first two out, and they have Belton Bill Melton up at the plate. And that's going to be a 5 and a 45. Uh, so that's going to be on Jefferson's card, and a 45 on Jefferson's card is a walk. Right at the tail end of the walk, and that's, I think, the second walk today for Melton. And it will reduce Jefferson to a 9 with Ed Herman at the plate. Could use a home run right here. That's a 10. It's going to be on his card, but it's a 78, which is an out, and he's an LP. LP says um, that is going to be an out with a possible error. Um, 8. An error 7 to 10 on the center fielder. And uh, he is not. So that is going to be an out. Herman was out, flying out to center. And we are in the bottom of the ninth. If the Blue Jays can score here, they walk it off. And there's going to be a new pitcher for the White Sox to pitch. Weaver comes on in the ninth, and uh, Dave McKay is the batter. That is a 10, so it's going to be on Dave McKay's card, and it's a 42, which is a uh, strikeout. One away, Dave McKay striking out. That brings up John Mayberry. John Mayberry is capable of going yard. He gets a 5, which is on um, uh, Weaver's card, and it is a 52, which is a walk. So Floyd Weaver walks um, Mayberry. That will reduce him. He started as a 10, so that reduces him to a 9, and Willie Horton is going to step in against him. Man at first, one down. That is a four, and uh, that's going to be on Weaver's card, but it's a 36, which is going to give him a strikeout. So Willie Horton gets a K, and that brings Howell up to bat with one with uh, two down and a man at first. That is a nine. It's on Howell's card, and it is a 74, which is going to be an out, and he's an LN. And LN is GX4, 
we'll see what the uh, if if there's an error and there isn't, so he's out. And we're going to get some free baseball here as we go to the tenth inning for both teams. Um, yeah. And that's going to bring Dwayne Johns Josephson up to the plate for the White Sox, batting against Jesse Jefferson, who is in his second inning of work here in the 10th. That is an 11, so that's going to be, well, that's going to be nothing. It's going to, we're just going to say that it's on the batter's card. And it is an 84, which is an out, and he's an RN. And RN is... Um, let's see, and I'll go G5, so there's an error, there's no, um, we'll, we'll have to check for the error, check for the error, 3 to 10, so check the third baseman's rating, and what was it? It is. It's going to be an error on the third baseman. So, um, is that Josephson? Yeah, Josephson gets on by an error by Howell with Carlos May up. So, let's see. We write um, error five. Carlos May gets a 10. It's going to be on his card. It is a 57. That's a hit by pitch, and it's the only one. 57 was the only way he got hit by a pitch. And the first two batters are aboard for the White Sox with Ken Berry up. And that, of course, is going to reduce Jesse Jefferson to one for the air, one for the hit by pitch. And Ken Berry is up. That's a two. It's on the pitcher's card. And it's going to be an 85, which is going to be an out, and he is an RN. RN is G6 with a possible error. Ground ball to the shortstop. Um, and the error says none. But let's see what G6 is if there's runners at first and second. So that was a double play, and the runner moves over to third. There's two down. And that was uh, Barry. Yes. So with two down, man at third, 90 feet away, Bobby Knopp is up. Even a wild pitch or something like that will score him. That's going to be on the pitcher's card, um, and it is a 46. And 46 is a passed ball, and that's exactly what they needed, a passed ball. And um, the run scores, and then we're going to roll to see, again, what actually happens with Kanab. And that is an 8, and that and he gets deducted 1 for the run. And that is a 27. Um, 27 on Bobby Kanab is a triple. So on top of that, Bobby Knopp comes up with a triple, and uh, the, the the guy who got on by an error scored. So the White Sox already have one run in, and they have a man 90 feet away with Luis Aparicio up. And that's a 7, so it's going to be on Aparicio's card. And it's a 17, which is going to be a base hit, I believe. Yes, it is. It's a single to left field and scores another run. So Aparicio with the single, second guy comes in, and they, the White Sox have scored two right here in the top of the tenth with Walt Williams at the plate. And uh, that also is for the hit and the run. And seven is going to be on Williams' card, and it is a 50, or it's an 85, which is an out. He's an RN. And RN says G1 with a possible error, possible error on the pitcher, and there is none. Walt Williams is out, indeed. But um, 
That's the third out. And the White Sox have scored two runs here in the top of the 10th. We go to the bottom of the 10th. Otto Vallette is up. They're going to keep Floyd Weaver out there. He hasn't pitched too poorly. Um, and Otto Velez is the first guy that's going to greet him, which is you don't want to really generally have that situation with these Blue Jays. But that's a 7. It's going to be on Velez's card, and it is a 14, which is also going to be a single to center field. So Velez ends up starting the inning, the bottom of the 10th, with uh, a base runner, and Tommy Hutton is up. They can't really sacrifice because they're down by two. They don't need just one, they need two, at least, to tie the game. Four is off of Weaver's card, and it is a 26, which is probably going to be something you would have to think. Yeah, it is, but it's bad for the Blue Jays. It's a strikeout. So Tommy Hutton with the strikeout. And that brings up Luis Gomez. Luis Gomez, one down, one on. That's a six. It's going to be on Gomez. It's going to be no on Weaver's card. And it's a 33, which is a strikeout. So that's two down. Weaver strikes out the uh, next two guys after Velez ended up um, starting the inning off with a single. And now it's all up to Alan Ashby. And that's a six. It's going to be on Floyd Weaver's card. And it's an 87 or 78, which is an out still. SP, all go G3 with an error possibility, and the error is none, and the White Sox have held on, and they win the uh, game by the score of 7-5 to five over the 78 uh, Blue Jays in extra innings. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.